Such a beautiful light to undo what I thought I believed in Wild and cold is the wind that'll blow my conviction away Matt with Lady Obscure and I'm here with Sasha Pate and Adrian Cowan of the new band Masters of Ceremony. Hi guys. They are currently on tour of America with Aventasia and uh, we're at the uh, Worcester Palladium for tonight's show. What? Uh, how many more shows after tonight? I think of five. Yeah, after tonight is four. Four? Okay. I'm oh. counting down. <laughs> it's been okay. so much fun, but I'm very tired. And it's going oh, yeah. well. It's going great, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to see you guys tonight, um, especially because Adrian and I go way back uh, mm -hmm. to when I first saw Seven Spires at a small club in Rhode Island. I always tell the story how she, you know, she blew me away with her voice and the whole band, and... Uh, there was maybe 15 people there that night, and uh, it was, you know... And then that we, doesn't mean anything. Exactly. <laughs> I so still small play. beginnings, and now look at you. You're, you're on stage with Aventasia every night, and the uh, tour looks like it's been going incredible. It's been really good. I don't yeah. know if there's actually been a bad show. There was no. I just was. I was just talking to Toby last night. I said, like, you know what? Like, there was not one fucking show where the audience didn't go crazy. Actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had. I mean, the European shows were better sold, obviously. Yeah. So we had met much more people. Mm -hmm. But still, I mean, even the smallest shows in the cold. And, you know. Okay, that was was the smallest, but we played out there in the cold, five degrees Celsius, raining, and the people were freaking out. And we have that every night. And I think the most extreme is about to come now. Yeah. <laughs> it seems it's always like this in South America, you know. They really go for it. So. Yeah, definitely. It's a good topping now. <laughs> well, tonight in Worcester, there's it's always a, a big metal following here in Massachusetts and especially in Worcester. Okay. So it's going to be it. it's yeah. going to be an amazing show. Uh, but let's talk about the new album that you guys are going to release in September. Yeah. Uh, I believe September 13th. 13th. Friday, of course. Fr Friday. <laughs> Friday the 13th, and uh, it's on Frontiers Records, yes. and it's Masters of Ceremony. Yes. And uh, the album is called Signs of Wings. Yes. Okay. Um, so how did this come about that you decided to do another? Uh, actually, it was it was because like uh, Serafino, the owner of uh, Frontiers Records, he called me <laughs> since five years. He kept calling me, hey, you, we got a new project like under your name and this and that. And he always wanted to do something like this. First of all, something like like Aventasia, you know. But I didn't want to do this because this already exists. It's already been done. And I don't want. I, just wouldn't do that, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, he was keep he keeps kept calling me all the time. And just last year, I thought like, you know what, I'm just gonna do this now, mm -hmm. uh, do a metal album, you know, like under my name. But but then I thought like, ah, my name, just call it Sasha Pay, not so cool. But they wanted to have my name, and so I said like, well, let's have it, uh, like give it a name. We can mm -hmm. say like Sasha Pay's whatsoever. And this is how we came up with that. Like, and how did you come up with Masters of Ceremony? Oh, it's just, uh, I think it's it's a, a funny name because uh, most of the people don't know that, but it, it's the shortcut. I, I mean, MC is the shortcut for Master of Ceremony, which is like a musical term as well for a DJ. Okay. And so I found it a little bit funny, and also it, it feels like... Um, it feels like metal as well. <laughs> you, you can hear like yeah, ceremony. Uh, hoodie, the hoodie you know, <laughs> thing. It's like, uh, and it has also uh, it's kind of a. As a producer, it also has a meaning. Anyway. I, didn't, I didn't think about that, but yeah. true, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it sounds a little bit from... from what is, it, it's just funny. I it's think. like a grandiose type of feel to it. Uh, yeah, it has a good feel. Mad, just, majestic feel. Yeah, but with a, with a little blink of an eye. Okay. You know? And uh, the music, now you said it's more of a metal album. And uh, from what I've been reading about the, uh, the styles... You didn't hear the first... I, I heard a snippet, okay. and uh, it's going to incorporate more of Adrian's 
harsher vocals as well as the melodic? Uh -huh. uh, she sings basically really more metal mm -hmm. on this album, so she really goes for it, like yeah. really pushes it all the, almost all the time. It, um, it is mostly clean singing, oh, but yeah? it's like yeah. pretty clean pretty singing. singing. Okay. So it's, it's so much different than basically all of the other singing that I do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, but also we have some very soft stuff, of course. But so the, the range is pretty big on yeah. this album, I have to say. But she's singing really powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like as partly even you can say like, wow, this is like old school metal sung by a woman. Nice. You know, but really powerful. And I, I love it. It's, it's pretty raw too. Mm -hmm. So the whole, uh, the, the singing uh, here and there is really raw and the, the music is raw. It's just right in your face and not too much embellished and just right, it's just approaching you in a very aggressive way, even though it's it's not death metal or something like it, but it still has this classic, raw approach. You know? Classic heavy metal. metal Screaming sound. in your face, yeah. Okay. That's what everybody said to me, now I'm just repeating. <laughs> That's excellent. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, I've been keeping up with the updates on, on the album. And uh, now, when you when it came to recording, you went to Germany to, yes. to record. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas before, you you guys kind of worked with Seven Spires. You kind of went back and forth with um, yes. more tracks, sending tracks back and forth. So it must have been basically done when they did, did Seven Spires. Yeah. 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 Now and then, when you um, you went there, it must have been cool to be able to be there and have Sasha there to you know kind of like bounce ideas off of. Yeah, some like kind of in room kind of magic that you don't get. Mm -hmm. when, when I really prefer that. It's so yeah, much better. Too, yeah, for sure. So you, you create stuff that you wouldn't create in any other way. I mean, it's always also on a creative uh, in a creative way, you know. You just can't do it alone. And you, it's just like one idea comes and the other one staggers and then the ball. But then it leads to this and it's so cool. And also somebody would sing and she's maybe, she, she would be already uh, tired or something and uh, you, she wouldn't maybe do it again because, you know, you just don't feel like it. And then somebody's saying, ah, let's go for the moment. I fuck you very much, you know. And then, oh, fucking hell, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> and then, then you get the take, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, that's what I want. Now you can sleep. <laughs> and and one more time, please. <laughs> but and only one, one more time. time. And one more time. <laughs> and no, but uh, actually we didn't really overdo uh, the recordings in, in this mm -hmm. manner, but sometimes it's just stuff is happening that you just don't get when mm -hmm. you do it alone. And this is more, it's just more of a, a re aggressive metal album. It's not, I mean, it's a, how can I, it's not aggressive all over the place, but it has aggressive moments. Melody. And uh, but the basic production style is a little bit more raw. Okay. In a way. It's just not so much. Uh, we have keyboards and stuff, but it's just right. Uh, just everything is it's not too much. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, as much as, as it... And it's not so much polished. Yeah. In a way. You know, it's just like, ah, that's that's music. Let's just do it. Let's like, just play it and... Uh, and you have other outlets to do more polished, yeah. uh, symphonic uh, things. So it's no, nice. Polishing to... <laughs> was done already. Thank yeah. you, honey. Now, as far as uh, I, from what I was told, that it's more of a band. It's not a project. That it's actually a band. Uh, now, who else is in the band? Uh, Felix Boon. Felix, <laughs> from, yeah. From Aventasia, and also Andre from Aventasia, mm -hmm. and Corvin Bar. He plays with um, Uli John Roth. Yep. Roth. And yeah, I, I want, really want to give it more like a band feel, like uh, especially more towards the future. Now we did like the first uh, start, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I want like to do more of a band thing, uh, especially when it comes down to playing live as well. Yeah. I don't want to do like, uh, maybe sometimes we have to, somebody has to be uh, substituted because he can't do it or something. This might happen, but I really want to have it as this thing, you know? Sure. And the feeling of a band and also uh, the next production, more on that way. So more, more input from uh, everybody else. And then eventually maybe if some shows here and there. Yeah, yeah. We're already planning on some shows. It's Great. Not so easy in the first place because we don't have any anything out yet. Sure. So it's not so easy. But we have something already that we will do. 
and we're planning uh, maybe we're planning some um, shows for release shows mm -hmm. and the first stuff might happen in October that is like a real show but I cannot announce it yet because yeah. still working on on the details it's, it's, yeah it's, okay. but it's gonna happen but uh, yeah, I can just not announce from that side so I can't but. yeah plus it's uh, you know with being on tour now with Avantasia it's yeah. you know you have all of this going on with the touring machine yeah. that you guys are and uh, it's amazing to see this production because I was there in New York uh, you know a few years ago when you came to New York and uh, it was amazing to see it then and it looks like it's an even bigger production now yeah okay we couldn't bring the stuff here yeah right it's like a, we have a, in Europe we have a stage that we carry with us and uh, we, we also just another female singer Sorry? Another female yeah, singer. Yeah, yeah, another, yeah, another singer. Another female singer. And uh, yeah, but we, we brought some video stuff that's, that we brought this. And in some clubs we couldn't use it because it was too small, but I guess here it's, it's running, right? I didn't actually check. Yes. It's going to be here. So we have some video installation stuff. And Excellent. I, I, but I think it's just, it's just a, like a little dot mm -hmm. on top because I think Evan Chasers. So much stuff is going on because all the people coming in, going out, and uh, changing, and uh, it can it can also happen on a black stage. Yeah. So everything else is just on top. So it's not a problem if it's, it doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Still happening, anyways. Well, I'm very excited to see the, uh, the show tonight, and of, of course, I uh, can't wait to hear uh, Masters of Ceremony because I'll definitely. We make sure you get a link soon. Oh, I'll be, I'll be, de I'll definitely be reviewing that for Lady Obscura. That's that's a uh, absolutely. Uh, Thank you very much. Anytime, you know. It's you know, it's funny how we've you know like I've I've watched Adrian grow as an artist uh, over the years, and you know from the very beginning I always said that. You know, I could see that she was gonna, you know, go places. Where and everybody sees this now. Yeah, well, I, I, I mean, it, it it is funny to see how you know, like progression from playing at Prague Power, you know, from playing it on seventy thousand tons of metal. You know, it, it was definitely you know a lot of growth, and now you know to be on stage with the Aventasians as an Aventasian. <laughs> So I, I wish you guys the best tonight for a great show. I know you guys have, have a lot of uh, stuff to do before everything is... Uh, uh, just drinking. <laughs> yeah, just drinking coffee. I have a lot to do. Yeah, I a lot. go from this to... To glammed up. Yeah. <laughs> to not this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, from not the black metal look I to... I haven't washed my hair in two days. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. No. But it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time out to talk about the new album. Oh, absolutely. So uh, for Lady Obscura, this is Matt Honey Badger saying uh, so long and stay metal. Ghost in the moonlight Throw your veil upon these grounds Come Star bright pales all